Hey guys, Mario Armstrong here with another edition of App Sauce. We have a new name. App Sauce is the name of our weekly review of mobile applications that can help your small business grow. Bottom line, it's a jungle of apps out there. It's a crazy mess. So how do you know which applications can really be best for your small business? Well, that's what this show is all about. So today I'm in the car coming back from a meeting and I'm thinking about paper and expense reports. And typically a lot of people fill out expense reports using these types of things, you know, um, little paper based expense report tracker. And it got me thinking, you know, I don't do that, right? I'm, I'm the tech guy, right? So I'm using my mobile device to submit my expense reports. But it got me thinking about a quick short story that I want to share with you. I had a plumber over to the house recently. We had some problems and he came over and started filling out his paperwork all with pen and paper. It was like a simple work order that looked, you know, something like this. Just your typical run-of-the-mill work order that had all the information, the time he was there, and what he worked on, and materials used, and all these things. But it was so laborious, and it slowed him down, it slowed the process down, and then I asked him, you know, how soon does this information get back to the office? Oh, well, you know, I run, I do all my uh, work throughout the day, and then uh, every couple of days I go into the office and hand off the paper and I said and then what and he said someone has to transcribe that and put it into a database I just pulled my hair out so I said dude you need to check out app sauce and check out the app of the week for your small business because today's mobile app is all about how you can take these paper forms and digitize them into a handheld device and the name of the application is called pronto forms and I think this is really good for two things number one it helps your small business be more accurate in the data collection in the field. So you can grab more accurate data, uh, which reduces errors and increases productivity. And then the second thing is um, the time lapse that happens for your workflow, whether you uh, have to go back to the office or if you have to fax this information, why not just have a handheld device, capture the information on the handheld, send me an email the customer as a receipt right there on the spot or an invoice right there on the spot and send an email right back to your home office so you don't have to go to the office so i just feel like digitizing paper forms to handheld devices is a huge huge leap in productivity and i think it can really help your small business grow so take a look at pronto forms it's this week's app sauce let me know what you think about it in the comments too and if you decide on purchasing it or trying out the demo. All right, sound good? All right, so let's take a look at Pronto Forms. Okay, great, we're gonna take a look at uh, Pronto Forms on the BlackBerry, um, but just so you know, it can be used on iPhones as well as Windows Mobile, so if you have a team full of people that have different devices, um, the same Pronto Forms form will work on all those platforms. So here's what happens when you start up Pronto Forms. Um, let's get you past the, uh, the actual display page. And it already comes with some installed forms already there. You have uh, an expense form, a retail inspection form. You also have a work order sample form. Now the good thing is you can actually take this application a step further if you want, if you want to actually tweak these forms and create your own forms. That's a whole idea. But let's just go through real quickly. If we were on location and maybe wanted to submit a work order sample, um, just go ahead and go into it. Let's start a new record. And we'll go ahead and we'll plug in a, a work number here and a customer number. And then uh, the, the customer name, we'll put in uh, M, oh, let's go back. Let's put in uh, M A of Media. And then you could put in an address and all the other information. And it automatically has the date and time stamp, which is great um, because it's, it's you know already done for you. So you don't have to worry about this while they're out in the field. It kind of has that geo stamping. So it can also let you know where and when a pronto form was completed, um, which is really great to know. So we'll hit next. Then we can go through. We could have changed these fields and customized them. The work order sample that they have gives us customer complaint. So we'll just say uh, fix faucet, act like it's a plumbing problem. Cause a problem, we'll just say it was a leak. Actions taken, repair, and then go to next. Then you can even set which technician 
is on this on this call. Was it Fred, John, or Mary? So we'll go ahead and say John did it, and we'll go ahead and say that it took John uh, three hours to go ahead and make that repair. You hit next. What material was used? You can go ahead and fill that in. The quantity of the amount of material. You can continue on adding more and more materials if needed. We'll hit next. Is there follow-up required? We can say in this case, yes. Recommendations. So we'll skip over that and just hit next. And then you can see it was completed at 8.54 p.m. And then you can have this form sent via email uh, right back to the office. And the good thing is once, once you capture this data, you can uh, export it in so many different formats. You can export it in a CSV. You can export it in a uh, Excel. You can export it to a PDF or XML or even HTML. So the bottom line is we showed you uh, Pronto Forms, which is this mobile application that basically allows you to, anything that you used to do on paper, you can now do from this, from this application. So automating all of that data input um, is great for maybe your mobile workforce, um, it can give you the, the latest customer or product or pricing and part number information while on the go, and it really eliminates the waste of time that can arise and just, you know, it always happens when you're out there doing manual mobile data collection. So um, it's a four-step process. You saw it. You basically create the form. Um, you can create one specifically for your industry and tweak it. The second thing is you capture that, that data while you're out there in the field. The third thing is then you report on it and submit it. And the fourth thing is, is that you can actually also do remote management over Pronto Forms. So this way you can also make sure that your field workers get the right forms at the right time. So uh, the basic cost for this is about $25 per user per month, but it's a pay-as-you-go service. Um, there are no long-term commitments or contracts, and you just simply pay month to month. So um, that gives you a little look at Pronto Forms. And here's a good one. I just want to show you real quickly expense reports, which is great. You know, maybe you just took a train, uh, like I did the other day from Amtrak. Uh, I can pick the category that I want to put this expense in, and I'm going to go down to transportation and trains here. And then I can say the total amount was $130. Uh, I can choose which currency that is. I can give a description of the visit. Uh, let's say I was doing the mobile app meeting. And then I could say, um, go ahead and submit this. And then I could simply type in an email address. And I'm doing small biz, our email address, go mobile. Uh, right now it's at gmail.com. We're that new. <laughs> and then you hit send. And basically it'll send that email off. And then when you get that, you get it as a PDF on the other end. So anyway, I just wanted you to really get a good look at this. It's called Pronto Forms. It's available on multiple devices. And as I said, $25 per user per month, and it's a pay-as-you-go service. If there's an app that you have an interest in or you think would be good for your company, let us know. Hit us up by going to our Twitter page at Small Biz Go Mobile. That's SM Biz Go Mobile. Or at our Facebook page. We have a Facebook group, and you can send us invites there. I mean, you could send us uh, information there for apps that you would like us to cover. Or you could uh, go to uh, the website and just simply send us an email right from the website at Small Biz Go Mobile. Okay? So let us know, too, in the comments what you think about this particular application and if you might end up using it. Talk to you next time right here on Small Biz Go Mobile.